Hello and welcome to the first video of my hardware AI channel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Jetson Nano Developer Kit, which I have right here. So Jetson Nano is an um, embedded system on module and uh, also a developer kit. They all go by the same name. So in this video, I want to divide this video into three parts. First one is going to be the general overview, where we're going to discuss what is Jetson Nano, then we're going to discuss why NVIDIA made Jetson Nano system on module, and finally is should you buy Jetson Nano, is it suitable for your needs? Then the second part we're going to be talking about the hardware, I will show the board, the connectors, I'm gonna talk uh, about these things and then finally we're going to review the software which comes with uh, their default system image. So let's start with the definition. Uh, as I said earlier before, NVIDIA Jetson Nano is an embedded system on module and developer kit. Um, so what does it mean a system on module? Well, basically system on module is uh, all the necessary components for the computer, uh, like a microprocessor, memory, um, certain interfaces, uh, all integrated on one PCB. To help you understand how is it different from other things, uh, let's compare. Let's compare uh, system on module system like uh, Jetson Nano and Raspberry Pi, which is a single board computer, and let let's compare both of them to a regular desktop. So for the single board computer, the most famous one is the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have all the necessary components like a microprocessor, memory, a GPU, all on one board and also the interfaces. For example, USB, Ethernet, HDMI, they also on the same board. So it's plug and play. You basically just insert the keyboard, mouse, HDMI cable and you're good to go. Now, system on module does not have the the interfaces it does not has that does not have USB or Ethernet but it does have other necessary components like a microprocessor and memory and GPU on one PCB. Um, so both two two of those are really different from the desktop computer where you have motherboard and then you plug the processor and the memory and the GPU and other expansion boards into the motherboard. So system on module, it needs a carrier board to for, for, for you to develop in it and use it. For Jetson Nano, uh, it comes with a developer kit. So what, what you see in the box when you unpack it, you see a system on module already installed for you on the developer kit. Let's quickly go over the important specs. Jetson Nano features quad-core ARM processor with 1.43 GHz base clock, 4 GB of low-power DDR4 RAM, and most importantly, there is a dedicated GPU on the PCB, which has 128 Maxwell architecture CUDA cores. Now, what is CUDA core, and why is it so important for our machine learning applications? Well, as you know, Machine learning, if you put it very simply, it's a matrix multiplication. And it's a simple operation, but you want to do it really fast. So this is where the CUDA cores come in. You can think of CUDA cores on the GPU, on NVIDIA GPU, as the same way as you think about cores in CPU. They help the parallel execution of the tasks. So in machine learning, we have a lot of those simple matrix multiplications and we can execute them in parallel. Now for the second question is, 
uh, why NVIDIA decided to make this Jetson Nano Developer Kit right now is I think the main reason is that they want to tap into this uh, developing market of AI acceleration and machine learning acceleration hardware and especially into the DIY enthusiasts, makers and education uh, niche of it. Because they had some boards before, uh, they had a TX1, TX2, TK1, but they were generally very expensive and not convenient to use for ordinary user. They were actually more for, uh, for, for the companies developing uh, applications where machine learning acceleration is needed. And now this one is specifically targets uh, regular users. Uh, so that, that would be education, makers, and so on and so forth. And the format they made it uh, is uh, system on module and developer kit all in one package. Um, for $99, I think uh, how it's supposed to be done is that people who just want to build their robots which or another project like a surveillance camera with machine learning capabilities, they could just use the developer kit and then the companies who want to use Jetson Nano in their product, they can develop using developer kit and then for their application for their product they could just use system on module which is much smaller size and just slides into their own carrier board also uh, i think one of the reasons that nvidia decided to push this board right now because another main competitor uh, the coral board uh, edge tpu is coming very soon from Google and I think those two boards they're going to compete closely in this market for AI acceleration hardware. Although those two boards are actually very different and I'm going to make another video about their differences and also just the general comparison of all AI acceleration hardware, most of it available in the market. Now, uh, the third question is, should you buy NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit? Is it the right, uh, right module, uh, right board for your application? Well, it's definitely one of the cheapest available system on module boards plus developer kit all together in the same package because it's uh, just $99. So if your project requires machine learning applications like image recognition, image segmentation, object detection, well, you, you name it, uh, it can run uh, many different algorithms, which we'll see, see which ones exactly and how they perform later. So if your project requires that, then I would definitely consider uh, looking at this board and, you know, testing it for your project. Uh, but now, if you are just starting out with single board computers and system on modules, basically embedded systems, and you don't know much about Linux, uh, I would really recommend you start with something else, maybe Raspberry Pi, uh, because despite I think it's a great, great embedded board for embedded computing, uh, but the documentation right now is not as good as for Raspberry Pi, so f despite NVIDIA is trying to make it really beginner-friendly, but I do not think it is as beginner-friendly as Raspberry Pi. So long story short, if you are already familiar with Linux and machine learning, at least little bits and bobs here and there, then yes, I would say you, you, you should try Jetson Nano, but if you're just starting out, then this board might be a little bit difficult for you to use.